Okay, so today, so we'll learn how to take a quiz using Autoproctor. So all you have to do is open a browser. So we have new window using your browser. Google Chrome should be Google Chrome, new window, so that it will be clean. Okay, so first we we'll have to type the address Google Classroom dot Google dot com. Okay, so if the uh, address is right there, so all you have to do is enter. So the Google Classroom is now loading. Okay, so it will open your Google Classroom. But for example, this is not your account, so all you have to do is to switch your Google Classroom account. Okay, so I'll wait for the Google Classroom to load again. So where is it now? Okay, so just like uh, in this example, so I have two classes now. So the one that I will be using is the example on section D. Okay, so I have here stream, classwork, and people. So all you have to do now is to click plus work. So I have an example quiz right here. So all you have to do is click this quiz. And remember that we have some instructions to follow. So number one is follow the instruction in the succeeding window for the quiz proper. Note, before proceeding with the quiz, be sure you have a stable internet connection. Okay, so this is very important. You have to stable internet connection. Luckily, in my case, even this is not stable, so if we try to speed test, now our, our connection, so let's see. Okay, so while waiting. So as you can see, the speed of my internet is very, very slow. My download speed is only 0.57 Mbps and the upload speed is just fine 13.26 mbps okay and after this so we'll go back to our which is our autoproctor quiz okay okay so on the autoproctor login so you can click the video which is the instructions of this autoproctor login So it will now play the video of the autoproctor login. Okay, so for now, we'll have to check the guide okay, of the autoproctor login. So let's play the video tutorial first. Hello there. As you take this test, autoproctor will check that your test environment is safe so and secure. For you to be Think of autoproctor as a guide. person who is watching you take the test, like your teacher or invigilator. Watch this video carefully to understand what Autoproctor does so that your test can get marked as safe. Autoproctor monitors your camera and mic during the test. When the test loads, grant Autoproctor access to both of them. Else, you cannot take the test. If Autoproctor cannot detect your face at the beginning of the test, the test will not load. Once your face is detected, it will capture the first photo. Throughout the test, Ensure that your camera can see your face. If the camera cannot see your face, Autoproctor will take a photo and store it for later. Autoproctor calls these events violations. Let's look at how you can avoid other violations. Do not take the test in a dark room. There must be enough light in the room. Ensure that only you are looking at the test, no one else. Your background shouldn't have too many objects or a bright light source. It must be as plain as possible. You must take the test in a quiet environment. Okay, so if a noise is detected, it will get recorded. During this. the test, do not switch to a different tab or application. You must now, always be on the screen where you are taking the test. Okay. If you switch to a different screen like Google, this will also be captured. Once you finish the test, your teacher will get a report of your test performance. Okay, they so can then that, see all the violations report. that were committed during the test. Uh, For example, if you opened a different tab, 
they can see how long you were away from the test. Depending on the number of violations, Autoproctor calculates a trust score for your test attempt. The fewer the violations you commit, the better your trust score. There are other violations that Autoproctor detects as well. It isn't important to know about all of them. Just take the test like you would if your teacher was around you. Don't do anything that seems suspicious. Always look directly at the test. Ensure that there is no noise around you and that you are not changing the tab or application. Your test will then have a high trust score. Good luck! Okay, so I think that is very clear and that is very uh, concise. So the demo tells about how to use the autoproctor. So this is very important because uh, your camera and your voice is recorded. So which means whenever you face your camera, your screen, so it detects your movement. No? And also when you make some noise, it will also detect. Okay, so that is very important when creating a trust rating. Okay, so after that, we'll go to Got It. Then, so we have another instructions for us to follow. So this one is all about your using of autoproctor. Okay, then you have also, this is very important also. So as the test may get stuck in the middle. Okay, so probably there are some cases that you will find out uh, your quiz is lagging or sometimes we call it deadlock. Okay, so it's very important that you follow all the rules no, of autoproctor when, uh, for example, taking up the quiz. Okay, do not switch browsers no, or do not... Uh, check your or your apps or your your notes no this is very important because autoproctor will detect it that it will automatically stuck in the middle so meaning it will lag you so that means you are automatically closed no so that means you cannot take any more the quiz okay so all you have to do is to contact your advisor if the case may be Okay, so I'll have to click the finished, closing. So for now, it will detect your face. Okay, so we'll wait for a while while the camera is set up. Okay, so now we have our face detected now by our uh autoproctor using google form okay so but this is here that it cannot detect so we'll have to check so the problem is probably we have low lighting so we'll add more light okay okay it detects now so because i have more light and it is very clear so in my record as you can see also here we have noise detected now because I am <laughs> I'm discussing. Okay, so I, uh, I will now answer the quiz, sample quiz. Okay. Okay, so you can review your quiz now so so that you can check now so if there are none uh, are left empty so you can proceed clicking submit button okay so this is the last step now which means you're already done with your quiz so all you have to do is click after submitting test Okay, so another notification that you uh, click the submit button. So are you done? So if yes, click finish submitting. And then that's it. It's okay. Click okay button. Then the last part would be the checking of your K 
Okay, so this is the last part. So all you have to do uh, is to click the mark as done in your quiz. Okay, so you'll have to click mark as done so that your instructor will notify that you are finished or done with your quiz. Okay, let's try to click this one. Mark as done. And that's it. Okay, so you have already finished your quiz. Thank you very much and see you soon.